Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Sean Gordon, for those of you that don't know me. And I'm going to show you how to do a bow tie knot today. Before beginning tying your bow tie, you have two sets of leaves. The leaf you decide to make longer will invariably be you to create the knot of the bow tie. So whether you are right handed or left handed, this will invariably be different for all of us. So do follow the instructions accordingly. Using a longer leaf, cross over and bring it under and over the noose. And make sure you pull both ends and make sure it's not too tight. Take the short leaf and now form, if you will, the actual bow shape. Once you have done this, then take the other leaf and wrap it around this leaf. What you must know that there is a loop that has been formed on the inside once you have passed the leaf over the bow that you have just created, the first bow. This, this is the actual hole that you need to pass this leaf through to create and complete the bow but what you want to make sure is that the bow that is going through the loop is not twisting and turning it needs to be if you like flat and straight and allowing the loop to then form the bow and create that kind of butterfly shape if you will fixing the bow making sure that it's as straight as possible. So once you pull on either ends of the bow, make sure you get the right tightness on the actual knot itself. A wonderful thing about a hand knotted bow tie is that it does not look perfect. It doesn't look so pristine. It has quick character personality it represents you in a way and this is the beautiful thing about bow ties yes it can appear perfect but if you look very very carefully at the details it is not there is some there is going to be a little bit of an odd even here and there one of the leaves might be a bit higher than the other but that's the beautiful thing about detailing and style and it gives so much character to the actual bow so do not be afraid of this or put off by this at all. Go out and enjoy the night and be free. And if you have not done so already, please like, subscribe and click the notification button so that you don't miss any new content coming up. Bow tie is a, an aggressive form of self-expression of not giving a damn what one thinks. Uh, and I think it's... Um, and we all go through those times when we have that kind of mood where we just don't give a damn what people may think, how we wear and how they may perceive us. And that's good. A beautiful way that we can express this is sophisticatedly is with a nice, beautiful bow tie. Now, bow ties come in many colours, many forms, uh, in terms of the style and shape. At the moment, I'm wearing a very classical uh, thistle, sh thistle shape uh, bow tie. Uh, gross grain so it's a very classical uh, formal black formal um, dress attire as you can see with the pleated shirt and the uh, black studs as I'm wearing right now so without further ado let's get right into it with our first style one of the most common ways of wearing a bow tie is the black and white formal attire and I'm wearing here my favorite vintage double breasted suit I love the huge lapel and the lapel is grow grain and it pairs and matches well with the bow tie which happened to be both which happened to be grow grain. Obviously the black studs and the pleated shirt all accentuate the length or the height of the wearer. Towards the end of the night, you may want to go for more of a relaxed aesthetic, such as removing your jacket and unbuttoning a few shirt buttons or studs and loosening your bow tie. So, and make sure that the leaf is just uneven. Going forward even, to make this even more relaxed, you could actually roll the sleeves up. 
And who said we couldn't wear a bow tie to the office? Or anywhere for that matter. Wearing a bow tie will always have the natural tendency to dress up in attire, but that doesn't mean we cannot have fun with it. For example, I'm wearing a denim shirt, a uh, chambray, some could people call it, uh, and a polka dot bow tie paired with it and a beautiful, sharp, double-breasted suit. Tonally, this looks absolutely lush, and not to mention the contrast pocket square folded into an English road. Now, this adds a nice, playful, dynamic contrast to the suit. The bow tie doesn't even have to match the suit itself. Like here, I'm wearing a mid-grey, single-breasted suit, and instead of wearing a white shirt, I opted for a blue striped button-down shirt. Note how the bow tie is red paisley paired with the red colour of the actual pocket square. A great suit is a perfect versatile colour to wear when you want to mix different bold or dark colours together. The next look we have is a relaxed formal look where the chambray bow tie paired tonally with the blue Panama hat and the vintage waistcoat. This is a great alternative to the wearing the bow tie in a nonchalant manner. The white shirt and the grey trouser create a complementary contrast and support the various blue hues in play. What I like most is the rolled sleeves on the shirt which really add that relaxed, nonchalant feel to the whole entire look. Sometimes the best styles or looks are very simple. It just requires wearing a shirt and a great fitted chino. And then the bow tie just simply becomes a finishing touch. I decided to go for a pink striped bow tie just to add a bit of fun element, a bit of pop. Thank you very much for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below and let me know which was your favourite look or how would you wear your bow ties. Um, let's share some inspiration and idea together in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, please click the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell so that you do not miss any more up and coming content from me. Take care and have a great day. Bye bye.